Edvard Munch is a Norwegian expressionist artist widely known for his infamous painting The Scream and also has over a thousand works of art attributed to him subsequent to his death in 1944, including the lithographic print of Jealousy One. Jealousy One is one of many of its kind. Many of them even have the same name. Just like Picasso, the different periods of his life are reflected in groups or series of paintings and prints he generously crafted. Most jealousy-style works Munk made retain the same composition. Every one of them exhibits one deeply troubled and discomforting man in the foreground, normally Edvard Munk, in a love triangle with his close friend and painter, Strindberg, either in the background with Dagny, the woman they were both affiliated with, or in the middle ground in profile looking at her. Both Edvard and Strindberg were jealous of each other's painting abilities as well as the woman. These works have the common theme that either Munch or Strindberg is betraying the other by being with the woman. Allegedly, 11 jealousy-style paintings and prints were made by Munch. In many of the paintings, the two men included are painted green with envy, while Dagny is painted in red. Another painting by Munch titled Jealousy provides a different stance to the series, a biblical one. In this depiction, Dagny stands frontal, mostly nude, and painted in red. She reaches for the forbidden apple like the betrayal or sin of mankind against God. However, in this version, the man in the foreground is actually her ex-husband, not Strindberg, and the person with Dagny in the background is actually Edward. Growing up, the Munch family was actually extremely poor. Edvard Munch lost his mother at the age of five from tuberculosis, and then his sister also from tuberculosis when Munch was only 13. To make matters worse, one of his br younger brothers died from pneumonia at the age of 30, and another one of his sisters was institutionalized for mental illness for the majority of her life. His strictly religious father, Christian Munch was psychologically unstable, depressed, and detached from Edward and his three siblings through the majority of his life subsequent to his death. Edward lived in constant fear of inheriting his father's mental illness. Christian Munch discouraged Edward from pursuing art, so he attended a technical college to get a degree in engineering. He left after one year to attend the Royal School of Art and Design to finally pursue what he was actually interested in. After three years of study, he obtained a scholarship to go to Paris and study, and that was where he reached a cornerstone in realism. For three years and with the help of funding from scholarships, Edvard Munch lived in France in 1889 to 1892 and began working on a series of paintings that captured the realness of life in a different way, expressionism, a turning point in modern art. Given his most iconic works, like The Scream, most people would assume that Munch was seriously affected by mental illness. It is heavily broadcasted that Munch's mental state was anything but stable and that he was perhaps an excessive drinker. However, despite this, investigating his writings suggests that Munch's life and internal thoughts seem more normal and cognizant than many other artists of his time. Munch was actually a very professional businessman, and he was very aware of his social standing. Because of this, he was able to successfully build up his reputation in the art market in order to make a living. Although it is already a beautiful, deep, and emotional display of Munch's troubling mental state, the significance of Jealousy 1 in particular can mostly be credited to Nazi lootings. The lithographic print was stolen by the Nazis on August 31st, 1934, before World War II even began. Because of this, the print is widely and unintentionally unpopular, as many are aware that the work even exists, which is the reason it should be moved from its current residence. Jealousy 1 was kept by Paul and Martha Rauert before it was looted by the Nazis. The Rauerts were German art collectors especially interested in the growing modern expressionist period that was exploding at the time to Hitler's demise. It was most likely acquired in 1938 by the Nazis through Hildebrand Gerlitt, the main Nazi art dealer whose occupation was to collect and sell the so-called degenerate pieces. Since then, Jealousy One has probably kept its place in the Gerlitt art trove. Through descent, the collection of 1,500 Nazi looted artworks was passed down to Cornelius Gerlitt. 
In 2012, authorities accidentally found over a thousand artworks in Cornelia Skirlet's apartment in Salzburg, so there's a good chance that one of them was Jealousy One. The works hoarded by Cornelius were poorly kept as he used an outdated method to preserve them. Cornelius died in May of 2014, and after much squabble, the works arrived at the Kunstmuseum Bern in Bern, Switzerland in 2017. However, Edvard Munch's lithographic print does not belong in that museum. Jealousy One should return to its home in Norway. The National Gallery in Oslo, Norway is close to Ekli, the city where Edvard Munch spent his later years. The National Gallery of Norway also houses The Scream, Anxiety, and many other works by Munch. Jealousy One should be exhibited there along with many other Edvard Munch works in the Kunstmuseum Byrne has acquired. They should do this in order for the world to see a new side of Edvard Munch, the side that inhibits a complete lack of his well-known iconic colors, textures, and completely devoid of extra flair. The black and white lithographic print is an utterly raw and vulnerable account of Munch's personal endeavors.